the director of programming. My name is Anderson Lay. I choose basically all the films um, and come up with the programs and um, themes for the festival. The theme this year is The Fortune of Fine Films. We get about 2,500 submissions. I, I, I personally watch 600 of them, so it's a lot of movies. I swear every year it's like a new festival, as exciting as can be. I, I guess it's a combination of everything that's exciting. All the films we have, I, I like to see people's reaction to the films. It makes it very, very interesting to talk to, to get the feedback on the films and such. So the whole package excites me. We have a screening committee that goes through the process of reviewing the films throughout the summer. Um, so it's a, it's a, it's a year-long process. You know, once, once the festival's done, we start preparing for the next edition. You know, as a programmer, I don't program necessarily for myself, you know, for, I program for my audience. So I think it's what's best is like, what would work best for my audience, first and foremost? Um, because, you know, they're the ones who the festival exists for. But at the same time, I, you know, I, I, I mean, there are like, you know, gems that I find that I go, wow, this is great. I, I think this needs to be seen. And it might be maybe a little controversial or it might not um, adhere to the, you know, taste of the general populace here, like the, our audience here, but I think it needs to be seen. So I have that privilege. No. What's up, Dad? <laughs> What's it? It's great to be to very well-rounded in the programming. Um, is to have um, the stuff that the understudy. people expect to see, you know, and that's a challenge sometimes. But at the same time, there's stuff that just works, and I go, wow, this is a hit film. I need to show it. And, you know, and so it's a great kind of cross-section of, like, everything about what our audience likes or what I personally like, and kind of, uh, you know, magical in that way, where I go, yeah, I got to get this for, for the festival. We really anteed up the panels this year. We've actually developed them more into kind of like extended workshops. We also have a, a great uh, workshop I've heard some of my actor friends on called I Just Got Off the Plane, What an Actor Should Do in the First 90 Days in L.A. Now this fellow, uh, Richard Schwartz, is L.A. oriented, but it's also universal information. Somebody wants to get into acting, what do you do? Do you list with agencies? Do you go to casting calls? I mean, how do you break in? You know, every place has got its, its own way, so we think that's important. We have another great uh, panel, how to shoot, edit, and distribute your feature film for under $30,000. And I think what's great about the workshops that are they're catered towards people who want to get into filmmaking or establishment filmmakers or just people who are interested in the process who want to be filmmakers but are film lovers. So I think it's great to see kind of like the other side of the coin. Another thing about the seminars we're really stoked about is our continuation of Sound and Vision. Sound and Vision is very unique to us because like, we want to show a broad cross-section of music and film. So, you know, we have, you know, Ninth Wonder, we have Michael Giacchino, and then we have like industry people. It's, it's gonna be great. I encourage people to come and experience the festival. I welcome visitors to, to Hawaii and local people also, obviously. And we try to make their experience a good one and for, for two hours for the usual length. You're transported to another universe. You really are. You can be traveling throughout the world through film and never leave the theater. We're showing some great, great European films. And you know, we've got some great films from the usual go-to countries like Japan and South Korea and China. I think we're very, very proud of this year's programming. Mm -hmm.